Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you dynamic split in Reaper. Now, there's two main reasons to use dynamic split. One of them is to cut up our audio based on the transients. Another is to remove silence from the audio. Let's start off with the first way. I have some drums over here, and I want to split them by that transient. Maybe I want to cut them up as separate hits or quantize them to the grid. To open Dynamic Split, we'll go to the View menu, and it's right here. We can also choose it by hitting the keystroke. Just hit D, and that opens up this dialog. Now, if we want to cut things up by that transient, we would turn these two off and just choose this one, at transients. So we're going to split our points at the transients. Then we're going to choose our audio over here and go down here to set the transient sensitivity. And that opens up this dialog. Now when I'm using this dialog, I like to choose this option over here. Display threshold in media items while this window is open. And what that's going to do is going to create horizontal lines, these right here, to show which audio is going to be captured. So if we bring up the threshold or bring it down, see how the lines change? And if we make it too high, it doesn't grab those transients. So if we bring it down just below these hits, it grabs everything below those lines. See the dotted vertical lines? That's what's going to be split. So when we're happy with this, we can close this, go down here, and choose the action to be performed. In this case, we would split selected items. So we choose split. And now each one of these transients is their own item. So again, we could quantize them or even export them as single hits. Let's undo all that and choose it again. Open up Dynamic Split. Now there's another option over here. Split selected and grouped items. This is what we're going to use for multi mic sources, like drums, if this item and this item were grouped to G, we could select the first one, split it right here, and choose split selected and grouped items. And now if we split it, it's going to split the selected item and any items that were grouped. See? Now they're all split. This one and this one. Now we could also write stretch markers with this dialog. If we choose this instead, instead of splitting these items, it's going to create a stretch marker at every transient. Choose this. Now if we zoom in, there's a stretch marker at all these transients. So we could change the timing or just stretch them to land on the grid. Like we can put this right on bar eight, or we can quantize it automatically. But let's undo all that. And we could also do the same thing with grouping. If we choose this option here, write stretch markers to selected items and the grouped items. So again, if we choose this, and this one's grouped, both of them are now stretch markers. This one and this one. And again, it's very useful for multi track sources like drums or piano or anything you record with multiple mics. And there's one final option right down here add transient guide markers to items. This is a bit different than stretch markers, as it's just guides instead of actual markers, but we could generate them based on the transient right here. Choose that. Now we have these little guides on each transient which turn into stretch markers if we grab them, like this. But they're not stretch markers unless we actually grab them. So we can grab this one, and this one, and this one. Well, these are still just guides, so they move as we move these. Whereas if they were stretch markers, they would be locked. 
So let's undo all this. Now I go into greater detail on this using transients in two of my drum editing videos, both with and without stretch markers. And there's also a video discussing transient guides. So if you want to go into more detail with those features, check out those videos. But what we could also do with dynamic split is remove noise from our audio, or at least quiet sections that we don't want to hear. So let's change our audio to a vocal. So we have a vocal track right here that has some noise in between each phrase, right here, and here, and here. So we want to remove that noise from the audio. And we could do that with dynamic split. So let's open it back up. And for doing this, we're going to turn off at transients. And instead, we're going to choose when gate opens and when gate closes. And we also want to turn on this option down here, remove silent areas, which is going to remove the quiet sections, which is what we want. So I can select the item. And we can use these parameters over here under gate to decide what we cut or remove. So we'll start with the threshold, which is where the gate opens and closes. Let's switch this to split selected items and bring down the threshold. And as we bring it down, we can see these dark gray areas that are going to be removed. Let's bring it down to about 50. Now this option over here changes the gate close and open relationship. If you look down over here, gate's going to close at minus 50, and it's going to open at the same point. But if we change this to be a bit lower, let's go down about 10. Now it's going to close at minus 60, but still open at 50. So this changes the relationship between opening and closing the gate, which we can see if we zoom in right here, if we bring this up and then back down, it only changes where the gate closes. This is going to stay the same over here, where it opens. So let's bring it down to about 20. That gets rid of most of it. Now let's zoom back out. And we can see, it looks pretty good. All the silent sections are going to be removed, and all the good sections are going to be kept. Now if you have a lot of small sections, let me see if we have any like this, we can reduce those by adjusting the minimum silence length. This will remove any short little segments. So we bring this up. It gets rid of the short ones. And that looks pretty good. So now if we hit split, it's going to remove all the dark gray sections. Like this. So now if we hear it, all those quiet sections, which are just noise, are now removed. Can count the years or one hand that we've been together. I need the other one to hold you, make you feel, make you feel better. It's not a walk. Much better. Now there's a few other parameters we can look at. Let's undo that. Open it back up. If we look down over here, we can create a leading pad, a trailing pad, and a fade pad. Let's zoom in. And right over here, we can create a leading pad, which is going to create a buffer for where it starts. So if we change this to 100 milliseconds and split it, let's put a marker right here so we can see where it was. Hit split. We got this extra space at the beginning so it doesn't cut off too much. See how it's smoother right here? It didn't cut in the middle of that breath. So it adds a little space to the beginning. And we can do the same thing at the end. Let's go to the trailing pad and make it 100 there. Let's zoom in to the end. Let's put a marker right here. And let's do it now and it added 100 milliseconds to the end. Again, so it doesn't cut off too aggressively. And finally, let's undo that. 
we could create a fade pad, which is going to be the same length as the trailing pad and the leading pad, but it's going to create a fade there. So let's zoom back in to here and watch what happens now. It added that pad, but it put a fade there. So this breath is going to sound smoother because it's going to fade in. Can come the years are on hand. Can come the years. And the same at the end. See right here's our marker. It added the pad and a fade there. Together, I need the other one to hold you, make you feel, make you feel better. That's a lot smoother, not as abrupt or aggressive. Now, if we still have some small sections like mistakes, like right here. Been together. Just select them, right click, and go down here to heal splits in items. And that'll fix those. Been together. While still keeping these intact. Let's see if there's any others. Right over here, just select them both, heal them. Cause after all this time. And the same with this. I'm still into you. Looks pretty good. So that's pretty much it. That's dynamic split in Reaper. It could be used to cut up our items or split them by their transients, or it could remove any of the extra noise in your tracks, whether they be vocals, electric guitars, or with any tracks with extra noise that we don't need. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!